What would it be like to be inside the brain as it processes information? What would we learn by observing firsthand how the brain functions? What if we could for a few moments play at being a brain, each of us taking the part of individual neurons working together to solve problems? Such is the novel approach of a new project entitled Tracking the Human Brain, which will transform Science Center planetariums into new learning environments. A complex array of interactive media devices will be fused with the audience into a model of a working brain, created by an equally complex team of art and science specialists. The 1990s, designated the decade of the brain, have seen an unprecedented explosion of research on the neural mechanisms underlying human thought, perception, language, emotion, and action. Recent breakthroughs in neuroscience, as well as new imaging technologies, now permit researchers to observe the brain's behavior while people think, act, and learn. Never before could one look this closely inside the living brain. These scientific breakthroughs have not gone unnoticed. Numerous magazine articles and television specials have captured the public's interest and fired their imagination. However, this growing curiosity about the brain has not been addressed adequately. As a result, there remains a significant gap between scientific understanding and public awareness. Tracking the human brain is designed to help close this gap. The creative team developing Tracking the Human Brain recently produced Journey into the Living Cell, the first interactive, immersive planetarium show on cell biology. The cell show introduced a new group interactive technology in which audience members control aspects of the program. Full planetarium dome projections, stereo 3D, and interactive surround sound enhanced traditional modes of presentation. The show was produced in Pittsburgh by Carnegie Mellon University and the Carnegie Science Center. It was funded by the National Science Foundation, the Buell Foundation, Smith Klein Beecham, and the Pennsylvania Department of Commerce. Major goals of tracking the human brain are to create another cutting edge planetarium show and to develop an equally innovative interactive studio laboratory in which to produce this and future shows. Until recently, scientists inferred brain activity solely from observation of human behavior. Current integration of computer and imaging technology allows researchers to identify the location and intensity of neural activity while human beings are performing various kinds of mental tasks. The Planetarium Show will combine immersive and interactive techniques to create a theater of the brain illustrated in this animation. Above the audience on the planetarium dome will be projected a giant image of the brain with pulsating neurons that correspond to the seating arrangement of the audience. The most innovative aspect of the show casts each audience member in the role of a neuron. Collectively, the audience becomes a brain. Using the interactive system, the audience must work together to solve a variety of entertaining problems and tasks, and in the process will learn how the brain functions. Basic knowledge about mental functions in the brain consists of three fundamental points. The brain is made up of a large number of individual neurons that communicate with each other by means of electrical and chemical signals. Mental processes arise from the activity of these neurons. Neurons receive signals from other neurons, generate signals themselves, propagate those signals along their outgoing fibers, and transmit those signals at the ends of those fibers where they connect to other neurons. Electrical signals are primarily used within a neuron, and chemical signals are used between neurons. Each region of the brain plays a specialized role in processing different types of information and contributes in distinct ways to cognitive and mental functions. Here is a simulation of brain activity that results from the presence of a visual stimulus. 
Note that the active portion of the brain at the back of the head is responsible for the initial processing of visual input. The ability of the brain to interpret information and carry out mental processes depends upon cooperation among regions. In this particular case, several regions of the brain are involved. Visual processing of the input is located at the back of the brain. The region responsible for the actual movement of muscles in the hands is located near the middle of each side of the brain. An interactive studio laboratory will be located on the campus of Carnegie Mellon, one of the world's premier research universities. It will provide a state-of-the-art environment for design, production, development, and evaluation of the new planetarium show, as well as future shows. This unique facility will be fully outfitted technologically with the audience interactive system, computer graphics projector, and an interactive audio system. It will seat 30 to 50 people. A team of exceptionally skilled and talented scientists and artists will collaborate on the production of Tracking the Human Brain. Project and artistic direction will be provided by the Studio for Creative Inquiry at Carnegie Mellon. Scientific content will be overseen by the Center for the Neural Basis of Cognition, a joint program of Carnegie Mellon and the University of Pittsburgh. Computer visualization will be developed at the Pittsburgh Supercomputing Center. Initial presentation and special planetarium effects will occur at the Carnegie Science Center's Buell Planetarium. Along with talented students and faculty at CMU, middle school age boys and girls from two Pittsburgh organizations will also be involved in show development. As students are seldom asked their input in the creation of educational materials, the team felt that involvement in the project would encourage cross-disciplinary thinking and participation of a segment of the target audience. Manchester Craftsman's Guild is a multicultural and highly acclaimed arts education program whose students are mainly from disadvantaged families. Other students will come from the I Have a Dream program, serving African American children. In both programs, at least 50% are girls. The resulting planetarium show will be distributed to science centers throughout the United States. Dissemination of the show will be managed by the Association of Science and Technology Centers. Plans call for presentations at nine science centers per year for three years, beginning in the fall of 1999, reaching an estimated attendance of over one million viewers. Portable interactive technology being developed will facilitate distribution possibilities to many of the 146 planetariums in the United States. A strategic alliance of funding agencies is being assembled for this ambitious project. Initiated with a $1.7 million grant from the National Science Foundation and significant matching reserves from Carnegie Mellon University, the project seeks to attract significant funding from private foundations and corporations. The overall budget for the project is $3.6 million. Funding will be used to support developing the interactive studio lab and its associated equipment and personnel. Research and development of materials for the show. Show production, which includes all audio and visual materials, computer graphics, and programming. Show evaluation by professionals in the field and outreach through local schools. Nationwide distribution and promotion of the show. With its innovative presentation techniques, timely content, and nationwide dissemination, Tracking the Human Brain offers an unparalleled opportunity for funders to benefit from high-profile science education.